Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. If you're an existing subscriber, so good to see you again. Thanks for being the heart of this channel. Um, and if you're new here, I essentially like to talk about all things self and spiritual development. So 2020 was a really big year for me and pushing me back to my relationship with the Lord. Um, essentially daughter came home and so now I still talk about those same kind of things, spiritual wellness and development, except for in a very Christ-like and biblical way, based on my, you know, limited baby Christian understanding of it. So a lot of people in my life have been asking me now about being such a religious person, which I notice I've been taking some offense to because I, the way I see it, there's a difference um, between having a relationship with Christ and just being a religious person and not that there's anything wrong with being a religious person but it, it really doesn't start there and be authentic it starts with having that relationship with christ and then that heart change is what then kind of turns you into more of a religious person so that's essentially what i'm going to be talking about in this video so stay tuned Okay, so I guess the definition of religion is believing in some form of supernatural being um, as in a personal God um, and for there being a specific, you know, groundwork of how to stay close to that being, that God. And so I guess, you know, based on that definition, I would say that I am a religious person because I do, I know that there is God and I do believe that he has given us a book. Um, kind of teaching, giving us the groundwork of how to stay close and in his presence and keep this temple holy and clean and pure um, so that we can feel his spirit um, within ourselves. And so, yeah, I do believe that. Um, but when I mean a religious person, I'm kind of referring to the people that think that they have to follow all of the rules and be going by the book. And like, that's the heart of what they believe in is like, just being a rule follower, essentially. But the whole reason Jesus came and died for us is because like, that's impossible. <laughs> As humans living in a fallen world, we will always fall short of the glory of God. And so we're never gonna be perfect. We're never gonna be able to do all the right things. The devil is the king of this world, um, just this like earthly world. And we live within this flesh that is very easily manipulated by this earthly world. And just all these things that are kind of um, playing against our odds and being perfect and completely following the rules. So that's where that personal relationship comes in because God never expected us to be perfect. He designed every hair on our head. He feels our hearts, he knows our thoughts. And so like he already knows, he knows everything that's going on. And so that's an opportunity then for us to come to him and share with him not because it's like we're telling him something he doesn't know but because it builds that intimate relationship and on this topic i like to think about paul in the bible because he was like really close to the lord but there were still things he struggled with as a human in a fallen world and he asked god if god could take that thorn away from him and god was essentially like no because it's that weakness that keeps you drawing in closer to me so it's through our weaknesses that God can make us stronger because without those weaknesses, we'd be a lot less likely to actually come to him and to ask for his help and to let him in and to let him transform and redeem those parts of us. So I really believe that God would prefer us to just admit that we're imperfect and to come to him than try to be perfect and follow all the rules and not be building that personal relationship because in the Bible, you know, a lot of people are gonna come to to God at the end and he's gonna have to tell them I never knew you because they were never they were never confiding in him they were never building that relationship whereas if you are more so focused on the relationship than just following rules then you know that like Christ is always with you Elohim he is now in here like this is that new covenant and so that's one thing like when I was more so in the new ager belief system that um like more new agers believe is that you know christ consciousness we can all awaken to the godliness within or whatever um and that's not entirely that's not entirely wrong because christ 
does live within us. But the problem with a lot of new agers is because it's been a couple thousand years since Jesus was here, people are forgetting why we now have that and who gave us that gift and giving credit where credit is due that we wouldn't be able to access. Like we wouldn't have all this freedom and like power and magical healing abilities and all this stuff had Christ not come and died for us and given us his spirit and live in this flesh now. So like we gotta give credit where credit is due. But if you don't have that relationship, then like thinking that God is always with you might seem kind of scary to you. Cause you're like, oh boy, like he's seeing everything I'm doing rather than, you know, having that relationship and knowing that he loves you regardless. So yes, one of the dangers of just being a religious person without actually having that heartfelt relationship with the Lord is that, you know, it might be this egoistic facade of like, look how good I do and how well I follow the rules, um, which shouldn't be the goal. The goal is to get to know the Lord, get to know his character, to stay close to his presence, to let him be the throne bearer of your heart. And then all those things, following his rules, obeying his commands, come a whole lot more naturally when that relationship is built and you love him and you know that he only wants what's best for your soul. Then you want to follow what he's telling you rather than just like trying to follow them without actually having a heartfelt why. Yep. So the fruit is evidence of the kind of tree that you have. Um, so the deeds and actions and works, those all come in reflection of the kind of heart that you have. And so the goal is to just Give the Lord your heart and let him begin to gradually change your ways over time. And he's a gentleman, so he's going to be gentle with you and he's gifted us with free will. So he only comes in as much as you let him, but he, he'll he never really go away. Even when I was like so far away and I was like, no, I want to figure out if there's like a great goddess out there and I want to figure out the aliens and all these things like he was still right there fighting for me and protecting me even though his little daughter was running off and you guys are probably like whoa that just took a turn but this is kind of a foreshadowing of the video I'm filming for next week um, I'm answering a Q&A and I'm talking all things um, you know religion the Lord heart change, uh, random questions about my relationship life and what inspired me to become a yoga teacher, my perspective on aliens now. Yeah, so this next video is gonna be really fun. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel to be able to stay up to date with that upcoming video and like this video if this was able to help you um, get more of an understanding between the difference of just being a religious person and being a religious person that's actually rooted in a heart of having a relationship with the Lord. So, all right, until next time, you guys, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.